you know, we can't hear you or anything. That's okay. I'm not, I'm not mad. I'm not mad. You know, it's not like I'm a diva that wants the attention. Uh, you know, um, I'm actually, I came out here because this is my first time. Thank you for having us out here. This is kind of cool. I um, I actually live in Spanaway. Uh, does somebody just say ooh? <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. It's funny. I didn't like. I didn't always live in Spanaway. I just kind of ended up there one day. Um, and it's funny because when I ended up there, people, my family who lives out of state, were like, "Well, what's what's Spanaway like?" I said it's kind of interesting. Like, you know, you have some really nice high end homes. You have some middle of the road homes, and then you have some really methy homes. <laughs> And like, and you know you live in a high crime neighborhood when there's a security guard at the Goodwill? <laughs> like, who the fuck are they stealing for? They you take it home, like they're a home-free encampment and have a yard set up? <laughs> what the fuck? And it's crazy because, I don't know if you guys have this out here in Yelm, but in, in Spanaway, now that we can buy a hard alcohol, they have it all locked behind the cabinets, because like I said, it's kind of a high crime neighborhood. <laughs> And so when you go to, you have to go push that button, and over the loudspeakers throughout the whole store, you hear, guest assistance in the premium liquor department. <laughs> guest assistance in the premium liquor department. Guest. And this shit will go on until somebody comes and gets you your booze and they turn it off. And if you hear that on a Thursday or a Friday, you're like, ooh, so about to get torn up, have fun. But if you hear that shit on two o'clock on a Tuesday, it sounds a little bit more like, Alcoholic in the premium liquor department. <laughs> Alcoholic. Somebody better get that bitch some booze before she goes into detox. <laughs> well, let me tell you something, folks. You can only say I'm on vacation for so many Tuesdays in a row before they catch on. I'm like, no, you're not. Uh, a little bit about me. Um, most people are really surprised when they find out how old I am. Um, and this is not this is not me humble bragging. Like most people are really shocked when they find out that I'm almost fifty. Oh, and wow. I'm turning fifty. Yeah, this is my year. You know how some people have like their Woo! birthday week, their birthday. This is my birthday year. Yeah. I'm turning fifty. I ain't the whole fucking year. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. I'm earning it. Yes, I'm taking this year. It's mine. <laughs> Every twenty fifth, whatever month it is, it's my birthday. <laughs> and so it's really funny. And I'm not like I don't. I'm not kidding because I. I I get courted a lot, which is cool, <laughs> until it's somebody who's like, you're like, not young people, because they look at me like, no, that bitch is old. <laughs> but people who are like my age, they'll card me, and they'll start scratching the, the ID, and I'm like, do you really think I would say 50? Really, if I'm lying about my age, do you think I'm going that extreme? You know, I think 35 would still get me all of those, you know, controlled substances. <laughs> I don't need to quite go that extreme. You know, and it's funny because, and then they look at me and they're like, oh my God, you're two years older than me. And I look at them and I go, I got nothing. I got nothing, I'm sorry. And this is, it's not like, it's not like good, clean living. Don't get it confused. Like this is called family genetics. This is awesome genetics. In my family, we have one of two things. Skinny and haggard. Fat and youthful. <laughs> I won that genetic lottery. <laughs> you should see my skinny bitch ass cousin. What? It's awesome. He's a fucking loser now, bitch. Anyway, so so and it's funny because like my my youngest son is a dick because <laughs> he's raised by a comedian. And I tried to tell him, I'm like, kid, you know, I don't look my age. And he looked at me and he goes, yeah, no, mom, you do. <laughs> First of all, fuck you. I love you, but fuck off. My child, my, my, my youngest. But karma is good because my child and I, who's 23, we went to a bar recently and got carded together. And the waitress started freaking out. And she's like, oh, 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 oh my God, I'm so embarrassed. I'm just, I'm so, I'm so hot. And I'm like, you know, I look at each other like, what is this bitch's problem? And she looks at, she goes, I thought you were boyfriend and girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> I will end on that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you.
I have an asshole son too. I do. My my nine year old. Yeah, he likes to like come up to me every once in a while, like smack my ass. Like, he learned that from his dad too. Shit. Ah, damn it. All right. Yeah, asshole kids. Gotta love them. All right. Up next we have Bill B. One thing I've noticed about the comics you've seen tonight, particularly the younger and uh, newer folks, is that they'll come up here on a perfectly good stage like this one in front of a perfectly good crowd like you guys, but then they will do nothing but a dick joke after a dick joke after a dick joke, and then one more dick joke. Oh, I don't know about that. See, here's the deal, kids. I can do a pretty good dick joke. <laughs> Yeah, it's just at my age, it takes a lot longer. <laughs> and you right there can shut the fuck up. <laughs> Thank you very much. I was doing a show here a couple of weeks ago, not here, downtown, somewhere else. Like way, way, way in the back of the crowd, some heckler yells out, Hey, don't quit your day job. Only thing I could think of was, dude, the joke's on you. <laughs> I don't have a day job. <laughs> you know what, I should have known it was going to be a rough kind of a crowd because on my way into the place, out on the sidewalk, I was accosted by a panhandler. <laughs> and not a nice one either, no, kind of a ruffian. He comes shoving his way right up to me out there. He shoves a little card right up in my face. The card says, I'm deaf. Please contribute. Fortunately, I have my own little card, and I can't read. <laughs> Please contribute. <laughs> he flipped his card over. Screw you. <laughs> I flipped my card over, and I still can't read. <laughs> so anyway, did I tell him from the big city? Graham. <laughs> Do y'all know where Graham is? Yes. Yeah. A little bit south of Bumfuck. Yeah. Kind of like y'all. Kind of like y'all. <laughs> I don't know if you know this about Graham or not. Graham is the only community in Pierce County that the population doesn't grow. And evidently the reason being, every time a girl gets pregnant, some guy leaves town. <laughs> The really, 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 really sad part about that whole scenario is, is that I'm still in Graham. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sure. Thanks for laughing at that. Actually, uh, when you go rolling into Graham, you'll know you're getting in Graham. Our big sign outside of town says, welcome to Graham. Great place to hide a body. <laughs> Population, 3,500, plus or minus. Wow. People kidding me about living out in ground, living out in the sticks, kind of like y'all. <laughs> My black comic friends, they'll call me Graham Cracker. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a term of endearment. I like hanging around with the black comics. Oh, now we have a lot in common. Like we're really snappy dressers. <laughs> and oh yeah, that big dick thing. <laughs> That's a lie. We're not actually snappy dressers. <laughs> I kid Graham about being small town and all the small towns. Like Graham has been growing uh, down in uh, by the strip mall, we have a brand new clinical research center just opened up. And I was walking by there the other day, and according to their most current reader board, right now, currently, they are looking for healthy women ages 65 to uh, 75. 
And I was reading that sign and thought to myself, wow, what a coincidence. Me too. <laughs> My friends tell me, oh, if you want to meet somebody, just go online. Just go online. And I'm like, nah, I'm not the internet type of guy. And, I certainly uh, wouldn't put uh, my name in any newspapers. And, oh yeah, no more getting numbers off of bathroom walls <laughs> anymore. <laughs> Actually, I prefer dating the old fashioned way. The old fashioned way is always the best. It's so simple too. You go out, you meet somebody, and life goes on. So here's what I do. I go out. <laughs> And that was me going out. And then I hide behind a bush. Oh, no. <laughs> by the research center. One day while hiding behind my bush, I hear this woman's voice. And she's like, hey, 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 that's stalking. You're a stalker. And I'm like, first of all, sweetie pie, what the fuck are you doing behind my bush? And I've been Bill B. And you guys have been great. And enjoy the rest. True.